This is Vader Reviews. We are honored that you would join us. While Star Wars has its roots firmly in Arthurian legend and the mythic traditions of old, namely a young hero rescuing a princess from an evil black knight, what some may not know is that George Lucas commissioned a short fantasy film to be shown in UK theaters as a companion piece to The Empire Strikes Back in 1980. And though it was lost for many years, this 25-minute sword and sorcery film still holds up 41 years later. But before we go any further, if you're new to the channel, join the Empire today by subscribing so you never miss our weekly videos, as well as updates on our fan film project, Star Wars Fallen Jedi. This week's video is made possible by the support from Heroes of the Empire, Captain Matthew Nicholson, I'm just happy to be a stormtrooper, Adam Jordan, and Admiral John Crawford. The Empire thanks you for your generosity, my friends. We couldn't do this without you. George Lucas, after feeling dissatisfied with the short program that accompanied the original Star Wars in UK cinemas, decided he would take more control over what was shown alongside his much-anticipated sequel, The Empire Strikes Back. Roger Christian, who had worked as a set dresser on the original Star Wars and will go on to be the art director for Alien as well as working the second unit for Star Wars Episode I, submitted a screenplay for an epic fantasy titled Black Angel. Produced on a budget of £25,000, with a crew of just nine people, four actors, and two trained horses, Black Angel stars Tony Vogel and tells the story of Sir Maddox, a medieval knight who returns home from the Crusades to find his family slain, his castle in ruins, and a plague sweeping the land. The brooding atmosphere of the film is one of its greatest strengths. Shot at Eileen Dunn in Scotland in the fall of 1979, the actual ruins and fog-bound forests draw you in with a mysterious dreamlike quality, while the use of wide shots and painterly compositions in the cinematography give a scope and weight to the film. Director Roger Christian said the films of Akira Kurosawa were his biggest influence in how he shot Black Angel, and he utilized his influences to great effect. As Sir Maddox searches the countryside to avenge his family, his journey takes a mystical turn. After being pulled into a river, our noble knight is saved from drowning by a mysterious fair maiden who is bound to Lord Death, the Black Angel, when she offers her life in exchange for his. Maddox sets off to do battle with the Black Knight, as a matter of honor, in an attempt to rescue the Fair Maiden in the classical fashion. While only a short film, it was influential in many ways. George Lucas liked the step printing technique used during the fight scenes that gave the film an uneasy, dreamlike quality, and decided to use it during the failure at the cave sequence in Empire Strikes Back, while director John Borman showed Black Angel to his entire crew as a source of inspiration for the look and tone for his upcoming film, Excalibur. This was not the only connection between those two films, however. Composer Trevor Jones, who scored Black Angel, would go on to write the music for Excalibur, as well as other fantasy films like The Dark Crystal and Labyrinth for Jim Henson. Released on May 21st, 1980, in 400 cinemas in the UK, Black Angel would be lost for the next 35 years until the original negatives were rediscovered, and I'm so glad they were. The tone and atmosphere of this film is mythic and intriguing, and while its pacing is slow, particularly for modern audiences, I for one found it refreshing, and I only wish we could have gotten a feature-length film set in the world that Roger Christian created. Fortunately, Black Angel is now available to watch here on YouTube. I put a link for this film in the description if you've never seen it. Or perhaps you live in the UK and remember seeing it during its initial run alongside The Empire Strikes Back. In any case, if you enjoy mystery, legends, and old tales of knights and magic, I highly recommend this film. And if you're a filmmaker, take special note of the use of scale and composition. It is a perfect course in visual storytelling through compelling imagery. The production value of this film is truly impressive. From the rugged lived-in leather costume of Sir Maddox to the chilling, decayed look of the Black Knight's armor. Without relying on cheap tricks like gore, the dark costume design for the antagonist 
has a very corpse-like appearance. The webbing that covers his armor brings to mind an ancient crypt or burial chamber, while the tattered material hanging from his face and weapon give the feeling of something that has been dredged up from a bog or a swamp. Not only does this give him a unique and menacing look, it adds a layer of symbolism as Maddox is battling the Dark Knight after nearly drowning. The cinematography, editing, score, and sound design for the film are also very modern, with the use of ambient tones and effects to give a feeling of rising tension. This combined with the visual aesthetic sets this film apart 41 years ahead of its time. I know this has been a little different from our usual videos, but between my love for medieval fantasy and its connection to the original Star Wars trilogy, I had to talk about this one and hopefully introduce some of you to this classic. I also hope it inspires independent filmmakers to see you don't need a cast of thousands before you can make an epic fantasy tale. All it takes is passion, dedication, and hard work to create something truly impressive. Thank you once again for joining me. If you've enjoyed our content, please consider donating to our PayPal so we can continue to bring you weekly videos. Until next time, this has been Vader Reviews. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. And follow me on Twitter, at Vader Reviews. Join the Empire today. You do not yet realize your importance. Share these videos, and together we will rule the internet. And always remember, you don't know the power of the dark side.